Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over Pictory to edit videos using text. This is going to be another feature where you can really change around a video that you currently have and of course add to it and pretty much I'm going to show you the rest. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below for Pictory. They do come with a free trial and there will be a coupon code there where you can save a good amount of money should you want to upgrade. So let's click on the edit videos using text proceed button right here. Now at the moment of using this, there is gonna be the YouTube video link and the upload video slash audio section right here. For some odd reason I used this and it says it wasn't working at the time. I imagine or at least hope that's going to be fixed. So rather instead, all we need to do is drag and drop a file right here. Give me one second, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so what I did, in case you wanted to use the YouTube video and that's not working at the time, what you can do is just download it from YouTube itself, drag, drag and drop it in and then let's click on proceed. So we do have one speaker here, so proceed. And once this is done, I will show you how the magic works. All right, so here we are in the editor when it comes to the summary. On the left, you're gonna see the transcription and automatically it's gonna show some words that we're probably going to want to remove. Let's see if there's any other, if I can look quickly. There we go, uh, your ums and ums, right? So right off the bat, what we can do is remove filler words if we want, so we can click on this. And you'll notice that this is obviously not going to be shown any anymore. So the cool thing also about this is that when you play it, it's just going to remove that part of the video. So instead of saying, um, in fact, it's just going to go, hello and welcome to my vidIQ trending video video. Okay. Instead of, um, in fact, it just goes straight to that. Let's see if we can hear it. Actually, I forgot I'm recording on a different computer. So unfortunately it's not picking up on the sound. I'm not sure why, but it's just what I have right now until I figure out how that works. We can also do removing silences if we want. That's going to be an option. So more than two seconds, more than one second. This is like another way of doing a jump cut. So let's say you have a video and of course there's a long pause where you're thinking, trying to figure out what to say. This can allow you to do that. I'm not going to do that since the video is already edited properly, but that's going to be the scenario or section where you can do that. There's also going to be parts where you can just simply delete any aspect of this. Let's see, this doesn't always mean that they're still going to do, let's see, let's just say we want to change this around. We can highlight this. What we can do is delete from video. So what it's gonna do is completely delete that aspect. And of course, whatever video was playing during that, it's going to delete as well. There's also gonna be an auto highlight section. So what we can do is kind of get a summary so we have our transcription here and our highlights. I'll just read what it says. It says click auto highlight or manually select sentences in the transcription and add them to highlights. You can then generate multiple video clips of the highlights here. So if you wanted to do it that way, where it's gonna be like smaller and bite size, you can do that as well. There's also gonna be the aspect of using more video in the background. So if we go to customize video, you're gonna notice now we have all of our scenes with the text here, which is pretty cool. So sometimes you just gotta give it some time to load. I believe in the beginning, like they're gonna be loaded already. So uh, there we go, now they're loaded on the bottom. So if I go to something and say I wanna just change around the background, here I'm looking for something that's going to be easy to add a video background to. So maybe Dave Ramsey's in there. I don't know if he's gonna be in the database of videos. Uh, let's see, let's do trend. There we go. So if I click on this, what I can do is go to visuals and I can do something like trending videos. All right, so now we have some other videos that we can change for it. So say something like this, say it's maybe searching. I know in the video I'm looking for more trendable videos that are doing well. So I'd say something like this could work. So if I click on this, give it a few seconds, it's, it's going to replace it. And keep in mind, uh, when you go to upload a video, it's going to remove the watermarks. And of course, if you have a upgraded one, uh, it's not gonna be shown in when you go to actually uh, download the video, just wanted to let you know that. So if we go back to scene 72, give it a second to load. I'm gonna play this, just keep in mind you're not gonna be able to hear the sound. Like I said, it's very annoying. It's something I haven't figured out, but let's do that. Okay, so that was the first one. It was just playing that scene. And then of course, here's the preview. There you go. So, oh, 
Let me pause that. Unfortunately, you can't hear. It's my voice in the background, so you have an idea of what that looks like. But this is just an example of being able to add more video footage. And then, of course, we would go back here. Now, this would probably work a lot better, say, if you're doing like a talking face video where the camera is straight on in front of you, where you're doing a lot of talking. And then say you start talking about YouTube and you say trending videos, that's where you can throw in another video scene like we just did right here. Or maybe you start talking about YouTube. You could simply just type in youtube here search for that and simply just you know add this in to have it a nice little better video background i guess you could say but overall that's going to be like a very quick summary when it comes to the pic to edit video using text there's a lot of things that you can do here of course once you take it into the storyboard editor where you can change around the videos and of course remove a lot of those ums ums silences and many other things if you have any other questions feel free to leave a comment down below and of course if you want to test out pic i will leave my link in the description for your free trial my name is james thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video